Hello, my name is Xander. Welcome to the Django Forex RM course. In this tutorial, which is a setup guide, we go through the process of setting up Codebase Zero. If you have just simply just landed on this tutorial and you're wondering what it is, it is exactly that. It is just a setup guide for Codebase Zero, which correlates to or is needed if you want to follow along on some of the tutorials on the Django Forex RM course. If you are interested in Django RM and you want to have a look at the course materials, then please use the link in the video description. That will take you to the YouTube playlist where you can have a look at all the tutorials in this course. So in this setup guide, we'll go through the process of creating a new VS Code project, Django project. We'll go ahead and activate a new virtual environment and then go through the process of creating a new Django project and application. And that would take us to a point which we can then move back over to a corresponding tutorial in the Forex RM course. Remember, if you are looking for a complete structured learning experience, then please check out our Udemy course related to the Django ORM. You'll find a link in the to the course in the video description. If you have chosen to watch this tutorial, this is the setup guide step by step in preparation to then follow along with the tutorials in this section. So I've gone ahead already and I have created a project folder on my desktop. So I just need to go to file and then open folder and open that folder. So I've opened the folder and you can see on the left hand side in the Explorer tab here, you can see that the folder has been opened. So let's go ahead and access the terminal. Remember, you can go to view, go to terminal here, uh, open up the terminal from there if you wish. Um, that opens and closes, or you can just use the shortcut. That's what I'm using. Right, so let's first of all go ahead. I'm in the Mac, on the Mac here. So Python 3, if you're on Windows, Pi, PY, and then it's the same. So the M flag, the name of the app, and then the module, and then we then create a folder. So the folder I'm building here is VEMV. That will create a new folder in my project folder here. And now we can go ahead and activate. So on the Mac here, I type in source, and then the name of the folder, the name of the folder inside of that folder, bin, and then activate. If you're on Windows, you're going to type in very quickly, you're going to type in VMV backslash scripts backslash and then activate. So that would take you to the virtual environment. And you can see that in the terminal here, the line starts with VEMV and that indicates that we're now in the virtual environment. So now we can go ahead and pip install. So we're going to install Django from the Python package index. Okay, so that's installed. I'm just going to clear that. So on the Mac here, I press Command and K to clear. Right, so now we have Python installed. We can now use the Django admin to start, start project. We're going to make a project called core, and then we need to indicate where we want to place that project. So the dot represents this folder. So if you don't use the full stop, you'll find your, that you'll have a different folder here called core. And then inside of that, you'll find these files here, manage.py and the core project. Now using the dot here, everything is here and we can just continue and work from this folder. So we are going to need a project. So let's go ahead and now we can run Python 3, manage pi, and we can now go ahead and ask to create a new app. So start app, and we call this app. We call this app ecom um, store. No, we call this app inventory. Yeah, inventory. Okay, so now we built a new application. We need to tell Django that this application exists, and we need to make it part of the actual core project here. So let's go into the settings, move up to the top here. Around about th line 33, you can see the installed apps. So just below that, we can go ahead and add our new app, which is called Inventory. By doing that, Django will look inside of the inventory folder here. It will look for any changes that we made in the models. That's where we're going to define our models, our tables that are going to be then migrated, created in our actual database. Okay, so we're now ready to start the tutorials in this section of the course. For those who are interested, what you will find in the next tutorial, if you do watch that, 
the follow along how to build this tutorial, uh, this existing tutorial, what you're going to find inside of this folder that you download is a requirements file. So let's just build that. So we're going to pip freeze and then we're going to then store all the required modules and libraries that are needed to run this application in a file called requirements.txt. So we can see now there's a list here of all the dependencies, all the requirements in order to get this project started. So mainly it's just Django. Django requires some other um, modules here. So that's why you're seeing those two. Of course, we only downloaded and installed Django. So what you'll find in the next tutorial is in order to start this project up, so imagine we, we've just downloaded these files. In order to make this project start and to work, we just need to make sure that we've installed the requirements here. So instead of where we did before, pip install and then just Django, we can now utilize this file. So we can say pip install the R flag and then run our requirements. So what's happening now, instead of just installing one application, Pip is now going to look at all these applications and the versions, download them and get them ready so that they can then be utilized by this application.